All right, about eight to nine foot high. We got bees inside of here. Customers already opened up this. Uh, I got a email with a picture saying, hey, we got bees inside of here. Can you take it out? So I gave them a bid on the job and they accepted. So today we're here. I'm going to take off this whole panel. I don't want to cut it. It's just a small, looks like a maybe three or four foot wide panel here. There's a seam here. I'll pull it out from the seam and then uh, they've already taken the edge off here with the nails once and they put the nails back. So I'll be pulling the trim down. I'm going to cut the trim just to the left of the seam here. Pull that down and that'll give me access to uh, where the bees are. I don't know if they're just in this first joist because I see a nail there so there's probably a joist there, joist here, joist here. So it looks like 16 inch centers. It could just be right here and not all the way over. And then uh, once I'm done I'll put insulation in there and I will caulk that seam back up. I'll go ahead and admit right now that I've just gotten two new cameras and I'm still learning them and when I started recording at this new angle I must have hit a button and for some reason it didn't record any audio which is just as well because all you would hear is the vacuum going and uh, it gets very loud and then the sound of bees going up against the screen so I'll try to give a little narrative as we go in the meantime, enjoy the music. This next bit is a tune that I wrote myself. Enjoy. right about here some people might ask Rex why are you starting out there close to the building when you've got smaller pieces that you could start on that are out above your head there um, and just work your way in and the answer for that is that every colony is different every structure is different and what I saw when I was examining and smoking things earlier was that most of the brood comb was out over the soffit so what I wanted to do was cut off the escape for the queen. So when I start working the bees with smoke and the vacuum, often that queen will try to run. And she will run for darkness. And so what I want to do is open up a space that she's not going to likely try to cross. Or if she does, I'll see a cluster of bees and be able to vacuum them very quickly and get her. Now I did not see her in this removal, but I did get her vacuumed. I've already got them in the bee yard. Um, so what I did was I started with the comb that was closest to that brick line and went outwards 
for, I don't know, seven or eight pieces of comb. And then I got all the comb that was above the, uh, the building itself, uh, inside the brick line, and then worked my way back out to the very edge. It's, uh, every removal has its own process and procedure. Um, I've got my way of doing things and other people have their way, and we, we do what works for us. Now that we've gotten near the end of the video, I'll mention that I've cut out probably two and a half hours of this video from what I recorded. Most of it is uh, just sitting there vacuuming bees in clusters, vacuuming bees, vacuuming bees. And then after that, I vacuum some bees. Once all the bees are out and the comb is gone, I fill this space with insulation. That way bees cannot physically occupy that space again. There's not an open void. Once the insulation is put in place, the customer's original material is put back on. So the soffit board and the trim are then put in place. <laughs>